You have a new website for your local business. You've been waiting a few weeks, maybe even a couple of months, and you have zero leads. Not a phone call, not a form submission. Meanwhile, your competitor down the road seems to be hogging Google and getting all the leads they need. What on earth is going on? In this video, I'm gonna show you the problem that your website is having, and I'm gonna give you the strategy you need to implement today to outrank your competitor, get more traffic to your website that's going to generate more leads, sales, whatever the purpose of your site is. And I'm so confident that this strategy will work for you because I've helped hundreds of people implement this very same strategy. In fact, people like Will. Will is a financial advisor in Arizona. For a very, very long time, he was stuck on page two or three of Google, practically non-existent. After he implemented this very strategy, he was ranking number one for his area, for his keyword in about two to three weeks. Or Steven, now Steven is an agency owner, but don't let that scare you, he implemented the same strategy. One of his clients is now getting 105 organic monthly leads. Imagine what 105 organic monthly leads would do to your business. This is the type of impact that this strategy can have when implemented correctly. And then by the end of this video, you're gonna have all the knowledge necessary to implement this strategy. But first, we need to understand, well, what's the problem? Why isn't your website ranking? And for most cases, it can be narrowed down to one single word, generic. Your website is just way too generic. Let me show you what I mean with a website. If I take a look at this site here and let's set the scene, let's say I'm looking for pipe leak repair in Melbourne. Now, so I'm looking for my pipes to get repaired somewhere in Melbourne. Don't get dirty with me, but follow me along. So if I look at this site here, technically they've got the service that I'm looking for, repiping for existing home or business. Great, but there's also this page here, burst pipe repair from the local plumber. Google is gonna show me this site every single time over this site here, because this one is too generic. It has all the services, while this one isn't. It's very niche, it answers my search intent exactly. Let me explain this better in the whiteboard. Let's say that's your website and this is your competitor's site, the site that's ranking higher than you. Let's leave your site for a minute. So the competitor's website has individualized service pages illustrated by the color boxes. Excuse my horrific writing. Let's call this 24 hour emergency plumbing services, pipe leak repair, hot water installation, and kitchen installation. Now they are all individual service pages. So let's say I'm looking for pipe leak repair. Google's gonna read this page here and go, hey, I've got the page for you because that matches my search intent right away. And the same goes for all the other services. This is clear and concise. Each service has their own page. Now, let's move to your website, the site that's not ranking very well. You might have a services page where you do in fact also have pipe leak repair, but you also have hot water installation, 24 hour emergency plumbing, and kitchen sink installation. Technically, if I'm looking for pipe leak repair and Google shows me this page, it's not wrong. The pipe leak repair service is in there, but it's also mixed with these other stuff. My search intent is answered, but nowhere near as well as my search intent is answered if I'm shown the one page, the one service that I'm after. That's why it's so important for you to have individual pages for all of your services. Now let's move back to the computer. Now that we understand that each one of our services needs an individual page, let me show you how to take this even a step further to get all the leads that you will ever need. We need to narrow this down even more. Let me illustrate with a bit of an example. Let me set the scene. This is a map of Melbourne. Let's say I am in Melbourne and I'm looking for emergency services, emergency plumbing services. I'm not just in Melbourne, or you can change this for any other city that you want, Sydney, Arizona, take your pick. I am somewhere within that city. Let's say, for example, I'm actually within Brunswick in Melbourne. If I look for emergency plumber near me, which website is Google likely to show me? This one here that says emergency plumber Melbourne, which technically does match my search intent, or is it gonna show me this one here, emergency plumber in Brunswick? I think you get where I'm going here. It's clearly going to show me this one because this one is matching my search intent a lot better than the other one. I'm in Brunswick, Google can see that I'm in Brunswick and therefore it knows, well, this page is probably the one that you're after. Even if I didn't look for emergency plumber in Brunswick, if I looked for emergency plumber near me, 
it's going to know that I'm in Brunswick and it's going to show me this page. And by now you're thinking, oh, great, how do I get started? How do I even know how many pages I need? I've got a free tool that I've made for you and I'll leave this linked in the description below. It's nice and simple. It's just a local service page generator. It's there to get you started, not to do all the work for you. In the left hand side, you place all these services that you offer. And in the right hand side, you place all the locations that you want to rank for. By locations, I mean suburbs, not just the city. So let's say I've got all these services, emergency plumbing, pipe leak repair, whole water installation and kitchen sink installation. Taking the same example that we've been using, let's say I want to rank for all these locations within Melbourne. And these locations are in kind of in a north suburb. So all I need to do is do this, the services and then the locations and generate the pages. This is a very simple script, but it's gonna tell you that, well, you need 48 pages and each Location, for example, Carlton needs a page and the suggested title for that is emergency plumbing in Carlton, pipe leak repair in Carlton, hot water installation in Carlton, kitchen sink installation in Carlton. And now you've got all these suburbs and you understand how many services pages all the suburbs needs. And at this point, you're probably thinking that is way too much work. Here is where we can get smart about this and automate this by leveraging AI. Let me show you this quick, this automation that's part of our community. And it works very, very simple. You have a Google Sheet. The Google Sheet can look like this, where you just have the suburbs in a few cells and the region in another. And then the output we'll get is the location, the page title, the meta description, and a Google Doc with all of the contents of that page. The way that it works is quite simple. What we do is we give all the locations to Perplexity, which is an AI powered search engine. And we say, hey, I want you to do research on this location. We are a plumber. I want you to create, I want you to do, give me all the main reasons why people might need plumbing services in this location. Some locations might get flooded more than others, but you wanna do high quality research so that each page is slightly different and add some value to the reader. We then get sent all that information to a pre-trained GPT. When I say pre-trained GPT, it's just a GPT with some custom knowledge and a very good prompt. And its job is only to create the page title, the H1 and the H2, of our services pages for the location which we have here. Then this GPT is in charge of creating the why choose us section of the page. This one is in charge of creating the how it works, how our services works. And this one is in charge of maybe creating a FAQ section of that page. And then we place everything in a Google doc and back in a Google sheet. So with this automation, we can now create hundreds and hundreds of pages in the one go. So instead of taking weeks, even months to do this, it takes us an hour or two. You just need to set up this automation. By the way, if you want this automation, this is this is in our community. You can download the template, upload it, so it's a lot easier. And we walk you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to get your API key and how to make this stuff work. And if ever you run into a bit of a speed bump when you're doing this thing, we have two weekly Q and A's where you can log in, show us the problem that you're having, and we'll walk you through how to fix it. There's a lot of support in here as well, as well as some other cool things for you to learn, like an AI how it is your masterclass, the, autom the fundamentals of automation, fundamentals of AI, and a bunch of more things. And that is really it. To summarize, you need to create a lot more specific niche local service pages for your business. There's a lot of things that you also need to be aware of. A good Google My Business profile goes a long way. Make sure you're getting a lot of reviews in there. If you like this video, all I ask is you consider subscribing to the channel and give this video a like. And if you're a small business owner and you wanna learn how to do all this stuff yourself and get support while doing so, consider joining our school community. I'll leave a link in the video description below. You can even try it out risk-free for seven days. If you don't like it, just let me know and I'll refund you 100%. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.